Welcome to DPX, the ultimate soaring design and deep excavation design software program. In this example we will design a gravity wall using the gravity wall module of DPX. In this figure we can see the general properties of the model that we are going to simulate. We can see the general soil properties for the soil layers, the wall section, the general water and excavation elevations and the strip structures that exist on the left side of the wall. Here we can see the general interface of the software program DPEX version 2016. First of all, by pressing this button, we open the model dimension limits dialog where we can modify the model limits so that we can create a nice view of the model. We change the left model limit to minus 15 meters, the right limit to 15 meters and the bottom limit to minus 12 meters. Now we will define the soil types and the stratigraphy for this example. By pressing this button the soil types dialog appears. In this area we can choose to add as many soil types as we wish and modify their properties. In this example we will use a soil S1 with a unit weight of 19.5 kN per cubic meter, cohesion set to zero and friction angle of 32 degrees. In addition, we will use a sand layer S2 with unit weight 20.5 kN per cubic meter, cohesion 0 and friction angle 35 degrees. We press OK and next we press on Edit Boring button in order to modify the stratigraphy. With top elevation 0, we have a soil type S1 and with top elevation minus 3 we have the soil type S2 we can see that the stratigraphy is changed and now we can set the general water elevation to minus 3 meters next we will define the gravity wall section we have to double click on the wall and then the edit wall data dialog appears. If the gravity wall module of DPEX is activated then this option should be available. We click to use gravity wall section and we press to edit the section. Here is the list with available wall types. In this example we will use wall type 4. In this area we can define the dimension of the wall section. First of all we define the general height of the wall to 4.5 meters, the base length to 3.5 meters, the top width will be 0 0.2 meters distance to left top corner will be 0 0.6 meters hill thickness will be 0 0.5 meters toe width will be 0 0.6 meters toe thickness 0 0.5 meters and the hill width will be 0 0.6 meters we press OK and here we can see the model Next, we will add a strip surcharge on the left side of the wall. We go to the Draw Loads button, we click to draw a surface strip surcharge, and we click on two spots on the left side of the wall. The 
the strip surcharge will be a 30 kPa surcharge developed for 1.5 meters on the left side of the wall starting 0.6 meters on the left side of the top of the wall we define the x-coordinate to minus 0.6 the x1 coordinate to minus 2.1 and we change the magnitude to 30 kPa this happens because the software program understands as 0x coordinate the top left of the wall finally we proceed with the excavation so we choose to excavate on the right side of the wall to elevation minus 4 and we can also change the water elevation next on the analysis tab of DPX we can change the analysis method so we change to limit equilibrium analysis here we can also define a design approach for the calculations if we press on single we can choose to analyze only one code case select a design code which could be Eurocode 7 DIN, ASTOL RFD, British standards Caltrans, etc. In this example we will use the general Eurocode 7 2007 and we can also change a load case of DA2 we press OK and here on the right on this table we can see the parameters that have been added we press this button in order to calculate the selected design section after the analysis is completed we can see this analysis and checking summary table with some critical results like wall moment wall shear stress checks etc graphically we can see the wall moment on the screen in the results tab of DPX we can see also the moment capacity of the wall and we can see the soil stresses as they were calculated by the software if we double click on the wall and press to edit the section we should go to the results tab and here we can review some more results regarding the sliding and overturning conditions and the bearing conditions thank you for watching this video visit our website in order to see more information about our software programs review our examples, download trial versions and feel free to contact us